Martin County resident Barbara Maynard travels 140 kilometers each week to get water in the neighboring states of West Virginia. She fills containers for her family of five from this spring. She takes as much as she needs. Two more. It feels like a drastic solution, but she says she has no choice. The tap water in her house is not drinkable. This is not just a local problem. This is a nationwide problem. Our nation's infrastructure is failing. And if they don't do something about it now, it's all going to collapse. And it, we're going to be a third world country right here in the United States. The greatest nation in the world, right? Barbara's been doing this for 18 years and feels forgotten by the authorities. It's beyond frustrating that, you know, with all the modern technology and, you know, how advanced we're supposed to be and can't even supply our own people with clean drinking water. And they're sending all this money over to help other countries get clean drinking water, but they won't help their own people. Barbara lives in a former mining region. Unemployment is high. Two out of five people live below the poverty line. Local authorities cannot hike the price of running water. Do you have water yet? Um, I'm not sure. Water, as well as not being drinkable, doesn't always get to its destination. Now? That's full blast. Yep. Well. Well, I didn't do much for it. It's like not even the size of a straw. And y'all been how many days without it? Um, we went like a week. The county's water treatment system was originally built to supply 600 homes. It now supplies 3,500. This water is pumped from the Tug River, and then it goes into this, and it's pumped over the hill into our reservoir, which is our lake of our holding water to be treated to get to the people. You see all this black tape up here? It's held together with rope and tape. It's so outdated and old. This is the same system we've had since the 1950s. Millions of Americans are in much the same situation as Barbara. The vast majority are in rural America, Donald Trump's heartland. They are the people he vowed to defend.